the social media content calendar, you will get 110 content prompts for life coaches and it comes with the social media marketing calendar. I use this exact calendar to retire my husband from his job. Y'all got that? Good. Let's get into this content. All right, you guys, welcome to the classroom. Welcome to Angel's Classroom. So excited to be here this afternoon. Tonight, we are going to talk about one of the things that most people, most coaches, most new and seasoned coaches uh, struggle with, and that is creating content. The one thing that I wanted to share with you guys tonight, the most important thing that I wanted to share with you guys tonight is the truth about creating content. Y'all ready for the truth about creating content? Now, I want you guys to write this down. I want you guys to write this down. There is nothing new under the sun. There is nothing new under the sun. You guys can log off of this live right now and you guys can go join somebody else's live, somebody else's YouTube video, somebody else's Zoom, somebody else's conference call. You're going to find somebody on this planet that is teaching the exact same thing that I'm teaching you guys tonight. The only difference is I'm teaching it and they're teaching it and that other person is teaching it and that other person is teaching it, right? So there is nothing new under the sun. I'm not sharing anything with you that I created, that I formulated on my own. I got this from other coaches, from other teachers, from other preachers, from, and actually uh, going through life myself and, and taking that content, taking those life experiences and packaging those in order for me to help the marketplace. There is nothing new under the sun. This is the truth about content, you guys. This is the truth about content. And this is what I wanted you guys to get before I even get into anything else. There is nothing new under the sun. The only thing that happens when you're creating content, okay? So just like Summer said, they're not teaching it like you. So say here I am, right? And I've seen Summer talk on camera. Summer is so nice. She's very calm when she talks. You know, she whole different personality than me. Me, I'm very loud. I'm very in your face. I'm like, girl, yes, let's get it together, right? And so there is somebody that doesn't want all of this energy that I have and somebody that wants different energy. When you believe without a shadow of a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt that this is what you have been called to do, I want you to also understand that there is a group of people that is meant to learn specifically from you. So it doesn't matter if I'm teaching the same thing that Summer is teaching or I'm teaching the same thing that Samantha is teaching. It does not matter excuse me, it does not matter because I'm called to this. And so there is a group of people that are called to learn from me. I need somebody to put that in the comments. Somebody type, there's a group of people that I'm supposed to teach. Designated, divine, all, like all the things. It is, they are your people. They are your people designed to learn from you, specifically from you, okay? Um, so another thing that I want you guys to, yes, yes, there are people assigned to your voice. Come on now, Miss Tamika. I know you know this. Yes, 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 yes. I want you guys to write this down too. Con hey, Eugene, come on now up in the classroom tonight. Yes, there are content creators get content block too. You know how people have writer's block? I have been doing this work for a very long time, for a whole lot of years. And I will be the first to tell you that there are some days that I'm sitting here with my phone. I'm sitting here with my phone and I'm thinking, what do I say today? What am I supposed to say to these people today? What do I say to the people? Hmm. I already said this. Don't want to say that again. Hmm. Already said that. What do I want? Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll go over to Pinterest and get inspired. Let me go over to Pinterest this morning and see what Pinterest is talking about. Oh, that's a good quote. Oh, okay. 
oh, I see how I can take that quote, change some words and make it make sense for my audience. I just gave y'all one tip on creating content. There are some days that I don't know what to say or what to post either. Okay, shocker, there are content creators that don't know what to post some days too. So don't feel alone, you guys, if you're like, oh my gosh, like, oh my gosh, but Angel always is posting something or she's always doing a class and she's always doing a video and she always has something to say. No, sometimes I'm like, I don't know what to say to these Negroes today. What the hell am I going to say today? Okay, so I want you guys to understand that I go through that too and other content creators go through that too. Oh, but also I can pull out, hey, I can pull out my nifty little social media content calendar, right? And I can go to this as a resource. But I want you guys to know that there are people that are creating content on a daily basis that get content blocks too. Okay. So now I want to share with you guys when I first started coaching, right? So many of you guys know me now. Many of you guys know me now. Maybe like a, a select few that remembers me from my early YouTube days, right? But most of you guys today know me as the coach who trains and certifies other life coaches, right? But when I first started, when I first came to the internet, Many of you guys don't know, I used to own a physical uh, boutique here in Baltimore, Maryland on Main Street. If you guys are in the area, it was on Main Street in Ricerstown, Maryland, uh, right at the end of uh, 140 on Ricerstown Road, getting ready to go to 795, if you guys are familiar with uh, Ricerstown, Maryland. And so I used to own a boutique. Well, after I closed my store, I went, to, I went on to and started creating content for YouTube. When I started doing my YouTube videos, when I first came to the life coaching field, I was trying to help everybody. And how many of you guys know, when you're trying to help everybody, you end up helping nobody at all. You may help a few people here and there that may find your content inspirational, but for the most part, I didn't know specifically who I wanted to work with. That's where many of you guys are. You don't know who it is that you want to work with yet because you're very, very passionate about many different things. How many of you guys are very passionate about many different things and you don't know exactly what it is that you want uh, to talk about? So let me share with you guys just a little content tip. If you guys are in the beginning stages of starting your coaching practice, one or two things. Start teaching classes 100%. Start teaching classes so that way you will um you will get the content that you need from the people that are on the phone and you'll you'll be on the phone talking to them and you're able to hear what it is that they want from you. That's number 1. And I forgot what my number 2 was. I said two things. The first part was, what was, what did I just say? The first part is that, somebody help me. What did I just say? Lord, what did I just say? I'm looking at my husband out the window and completely lost track of helping everyone, ended up helping nobody. And I said one or two things. I said, start teaching classes and I can't, oh, start teaching classes and just talk about what you're passionate about right now. If you're passionate about children, just start talking about it. If you're passionate about hair, or not hair as a coach, but you could be a hair coach. Just start talking about and posting about whatever it is that you're passionate about. Don't overthink this right now. Because the reality is not a lot of people are going to see your content in the beginning. So this is a really good stage to be in to try and figure things out. So that's what I did 100% but I didn't realize that that's what I was doing. So when I started, I was trying to help everybody and ended up helping a few people, right? When you're niched and you know who you're talking to, you can then project things and, and it gets a little bit better with your business. But so I started helping everybody. Then I started teaching classes, right? Because I'm just on YouTube. I'm not talking to people. I'm not actually... 
uh, on the phone with people. I'm just back here just creating videos. So I'm just, I'm, I did some hair tutorials. Y'all, I cannot do hair. Why y'all think I wear this ponytail every day? I cannot do hair. I was doing twist out. I mean, I was doing anything and everything when I first came to the internet. But when I started to teach classes, that's when everything started to change. So then when I started teaching classes, I started helping people. I started to realize that that was something that I was passionate about. I wanted to help people discover their life's purpose. I wanted people to know why they were here. I knew what I was called to do, and that was to inspire people. That's all I knew at the time. So I knew that I had a blueprint for that. So somebody, whoever is really, really listening, just picked up what I put down. If you don't, if you're not crystal clear on your niche yet, what you are clear on is your life's purpose. You know that this is what you've been called to do. You just aren't clear on where you're going to target. So target other people that don't know their life's calling because you have a blueprint for that. You have a blueprint for that. So that's what I realized when I got on that phone with those people, they were lost. They didn't like their job. They didn't like what they did for a living. And so I would ask them questions. Well, what do you like to do? Well, why aren't you in that field? And then they start telling me, well, when I was younger, my mother said that that wasn't going to be a profitable thing to do. And so I didn't do it. And I'm like, wait a minute, let's rewind. But you, when you were a kid, you said you wanted to do hair when you got older. Now you're a grown woman and you're still very passionate about hair. Why aren't, let's move in that direction, right? And so that's where I started, you guys. I started helping people discover their life's purpose because I had a blueprint. I knew what I did. I knew the work. I knew this step by step exactly what I did in order to find my life's purpose. And so I was able to write that down. I was able to write that down in sequential order. Y'all saw my post today. I was able to write those steps down in sequential order. And I actually created a four week course called how to discover your life's purpose. Very, very easy, you guys. All right. So then after uh, after being on the phone and teaching these classes, I realized that people were asking me, how did I do what I do? How did you start your YouTube channel? How did you become a motivational speaker? How did you get paying clients? And so I realized that a lot of the people that were coming to me, they were other, they were coaches. They just didn't know it. And so when I started to change my content, to then only focus on people who wanted to share their story. They would say, oh, I just want to share my story and inspire other people, AKA a life coach, right? Or a motivational speaker, whatever title you want to put on it. And so when I started to realize that I started to change all my content around to start focusing and targeting new life coaches. Now, this is what I want to share with you guys. Get out here and start sharing your content. When you do this, you're going to eventually make a pivot. Right now, you don't know which way to pivot because you're probably still scared sitting on the side of the bed and wait and praying and praying and praying and meditating and meditating and meditating and thinking God is just going to drop the answer down into your spirit. And he will, but you got to take some action. He will give you that idea, but there's still some work that needs to be done on your end. So I was helping people turn their paycheck into uh into their excuse me their purpose into their paycheck and that that's when i started going or excuse me started shifting all of my content to then work with only life coaches when that happened you guys when that happened that's when every single thing started to change for me i was able to project sales i was able to project how many people would enroll in my classes and my courses i was able to project so much when I started to focus on that one audience, okay? So now here's where the notes come in. Here's where the notes come in for my note takers. Write these notes down. <clears throat> you want to give away inspirational content, informational content, and quantifiable content. Write those things down. You want to give away inspirational content informational content and quantifiable content 
inspirational content is meant to be a drawer, is meant to be a bait, right? I like to say when I'm posting and when I'm doing my YouTube videos, I'm literally putting my, 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 uh, throwing my fishing hook out into the sea and I'm, I'm searching for life coaches. I'm trying to draw life coaches or I'm trying to draw secret life coaches, people who don't even know that they want to become uh, life coaches. So you want to give out that inspirational content and informational content, right? But then when you get to the quantifiable content, that's when you charge for it. That's the information that you're giving away that people can actually measure. You guys understand that you're going to focus on your inspirational content, which is everywhere. So you don't want to always post inspirational content. We can get inspiration from anywhere unless that inspirational post is really coming from your heart. And even when it's coming from your heart, you still want to mix it up with informational content and quantifiable content. Are you guys picking up what I'm putting down? Are you guys understanding this? Yes, 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 and yes. The next thing, the more content that you put out, the more you can leverage your business. This is why. I go so hard on you guys to teach your classes. Do you know I have hundreds of classes on my hard drive? At any given time, I can take some classes, put them all together, put it in a bundle, call it something, and now sell it. But I taught it at one time at no cost, right? But you, there's so many things that you can do with your content. You just have to start putting it in to action. So the more content that you create, the more that you can leverage your business and your brand. Okay. So I want you guys, you, we've all heard that saying that content is king, content is king, content is king. And if content is king, what's over the king? Is it the queen? Doug? I, is it the, whatever's over the king is you because you are your content that's another thing i forgot to say that y'all you are your content <laughs> i always tell you guys that that you are your content so when you guys are creating content you got to remember that you have the solution you have the solution right people have the problem so when you're creating your content you want to present the solution to the people and talk about the problem. You have the solution, now present them with the problem, right? You have the solution. You know how to discover your life's purpose. So what you want to pre present out in social media is you want to say, are you tired of waking up every single day and not knowing what you have been called to do? That's presenting the problem. If that is your your niche, you help people discover their life's their life's purpose. If I was looking to discover my life's purpose and I'm tired of this job and I know that there's something more for me to do in my life, and if I saw a post that said, "You know that there's more for you to do in your life." Just stop the, stop the scroll. Stop the scroll. Talk to people where they are. Talk to their problems. Excuse me present their problems. You have the solution. So you want to present the problem because that's all they're thinking about. They're not even thinking about the solution. They don't even know the solution. You know the solution. So you want to present them with the problem. When you do that, that is when you are going to stop the scroll and you're going to be, and that person is going to be like, oh my goodness, they're going to save it. They're going to tag somebody. They're going to be like, oh my goodness, girl. Yes. I know that there's something more for me to, for me to, um, for me to do in this world. Oh, and you told me you just uh, created an ebook, five ways to discover my life's purpose. Oh, only thing I got to do is click the link in your bio and download it. Oh, I'm definitely doing that. Right? So you want to present the problem. You have the solution. I need somebody to type that. I'm going to present the problem because I have the solution. People are typing in their problems and you want to be on the other end of somebody else's Google search. All right. What you guys are going to do, what you guys are actually doing when you are creating your content is that you are giving your intellectual property. 
So the things that you have been through, yes, Alicia, yes, I'm going to present the problem because I have the solution. Yes, yes, yes. What you guys are going to do is you guys are going to take what's in your mind and you're going to write it down on paper in sequential order. And what you're going to do is you're going to believe it. I need you guys to get that part because I know I can get you guys to write some stuff down. But after y'all write it down, that's when you're like, oh, well, do I really need to tell them to pray? Mm. Do I really need to tell them to clean their house? Mm. Do I really need to tell them to meditate? Do I really need to tell them to journal? Like, don't they already know these things? They may know these things, but because they have not heard them from you from who God has created to deliver that content to, they're not going to do it until they hear it from you. So when you write it down, the next thing that you are to do is to believe that it's going to work for other people because it has worked for you. Why do we doubt? Why do we doubt our content? When our content is the very thing that got us to where we are today. But then when we go and start to write it down so that we can share that exact same formula with somebody else, that's when we start to doubt it. Why do we do that? Why do we doubt it? We have, we have the evidence. We have the proof, right? So as you guys are sharing your content, as you guys are sharing your content, you want to make sure this will give you confidence in sharing your content, 100%. This will give you confidence in sharing your content. What I'm about to share with you is that it is proven information. Is that it is proven information. You want to, oh V, I love it, I love it. And this is a whole paid class tonight because I'm paying attention. I love it, I love it, I love it. Make sure you go talk about that on my last post. For everybody who's getting anything out of tonight's class, please go over to my last post, write down two to three things that you guys were able to take away. And I'm doing this so I can get more content, okay? So I can get more content to share with you guys too night y'all got that good because i need to screenshot that all right so uh make sure that the content is proven content this is going to give you the confidence did y'all pick that up the proven content is going to come from either you or somebody else oh my gosh what do you mean it's going to come from somebody else i am a student of Ian van zandt you understand? I am a student of Dr. Mike Murdoch. A lot of content that I consume come from those two people. So they did the work. They did the work. They put it in a book for me to consume it. They put their proven strategies in a book. And now I read that information. I did it. I put it into action. And now I got some proof now too. So now that gives me even more confidence to actually share it now with my audience. Now, the only hang up is this. It's only going to work if you work it. I need somebody to write that down. Bishop T.D. Jake says that all the time. The word will only work if you work it. The word only works if you work it. The word only works if you work it. The content only works if you work it. Y'all got it? Good. Let me see. Did I miss something? Did I miss something? That's it, y'all. That's it. Yes, it's only going to work if you work it. Yes, yes, yes. Any questions, you guys? Any questions? Any questions? Any questions? I thought I had some more. Let me reiterate this to you guys. Let me just reiterate this to you guys. There is nothing new under the sun. There is nothing new under the sun. So if you get stuck creating content and you think, oh my gosh, like, but I've heard somebody else say that, but you didn't say it. So it doesn't matter. There is nothing new under the sun. And that person got it from somebody else too. That person got it from somebody else too because there is nothing new under the sun. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. The offer again. The offer again. The offer again. Ooh, Angel, thank you for this. And 
Today I was having a content block. Ooh, you ain't gonna have a content block at block after I send you the 110 ways to uh 110 content prompts for life coaches. So let me share with you guys again for those of you guys who missed tonight's offer. It is the Life Coach Starter Kit. The Life Coach Starter Kit consists of how to be a confident life coach. Uh, everyone had to learn from somewhere and somebody. Yes, nothing new is yes, V. Exactly, exactly. The Life Coach Starter Kit comes with a free class tonight, you guys. For those of you guys who are getting the Life Coach Starter Kit tonight, send me a DM and I will send you guys my content calendar that literally helped me retire my husband from his job. I literally tell you guys exactly what to post. I give you guys three to four posts to post every single day. What's inside the Life Coach Starter Kit is how to be a confident life coach, how to build your email list 101, YouTube Marketing 101, Behind the Camera, the Life Coach's Guide to Building Your Business, Brand, and Bank, how to create, market, package, and sell your digital products, how to host conference calls, the four-day mini Life Coach training series, how to create niche specific content, eight things to keep in mind to run a successful coaching practice, be the brand, five things to remember when putting yourself out there, marketing like a life coach, uh, five things you need on your website for success, how to create multiple streams of income, how to create your signature coaching program, how to start building expert status as a new life coach, What's a good freebie to give away? Five things to do right now as a new life coach. How to repurpose your content and the life coach's guide to marketing. For those of you guys who get the life coach starter kit tonight, like I said, send me a DM. You guys can get that by clicking the link in my bio. It's all up there in my bio. And I will gift you guys my content calendar that helped me retire my husband from his job any questions i thought because i heard it that everyone else heard it yep but they didn't hear it from me that's the difference exactly tawanda and that's a trick of the enemy that is 100 percent a trick of the enemy to get you to keep your mouth closed because he knows that there is a group of people that is designed to learn specifically from you. And he knows that when you get your mouth open, when I get my mouth open, when everybody gets their mouth open, those people are going to have chains broken off of them. They're going to have chains broken off of them. They're going to be set free, delivered, and, and start doing what they've been called to do. And you know the enemy don't want none of that, okay? None of that. But I used to think that same thing. I thought because I heard it, uh, that everyone else heard it. Yep. I used to think that when um, when I uh, started making purses, when I started making purses out of cereal boxes, I was like, ain't nobody going to buy this. Everybody knows how to do this. My husband said, Angel, you are the only person that looks at a cereal box and sees a purse. I'm like, really? Really? Y'all don't see a purse when y'all look at your Kellogg's Frosted Flakes? Oh, it's just me? Cool. Let me sell this. That's what I did. <laughs> but I had to uh, I had to come to that understanding as well that just because there's other people uh, that are doing it does not mean that I'm not supposed to do it.